Radiculopathy can be a difficult condition to understand. The question is often asked, if the problem is in my neck, why do I feel it in my arms or hands? Or, if the problem is in my low back, why do I feel it in my legs or feet? Sensations such as pain, numbness, and tingling must be perceived by the brain in order for us to experience them. And so signals are transmitted to and from the brain along the nervous system. Think of the nervous system as a network of cables that carry signals to and from the brain. A large bundle of nerves leaves the brain to form the spinal cord. This important structure is protected by bones known as vertebrae. The vertebrae form a long column known as the spine or backbone. Smaller nerves branch out from the spinal cord and travel to their designated areas. Electrical signals are then carried to and from the brain like cables carry a signal to a television. When something happens to the nerve, the signal is interrupted and it does not function properly. For example, this nerve is responsible for carrying a signal from the hand to the brain so that the brain knows what the hand is feeling. If this nerve is irritated, it sends the wrong signals to the brain. The brain may interpret this as pain, numbness, tingling, or other strange sensations. If the nerve is responsible for activating the muscles in the hand, the signal may not reach the hand with full strength. If the muscles do not receive the message, they don't work. This gives a sensation of weakness. In order to treat these symptoms, it is important to figure out where the nerve is being irritated. Often, the nerve is being compressed in the spinal cord or as it leaves the spinal cord. In between the vertebrae are discs. These discs may begin to bulge out and impinge upon the nerves in the spinal cord or as the nerves leave the spinal cord. This can irritate the nerve and cause it to malfunction.